The Unetis culture Czech pronunciation, UCDs, Czech Unetica cultura, German Anjetitzer kultur, Polish kultura Unitica is an archaeological culture at the start of the Central European Bronze Age, dated roughly to about 2300-1600 BC. The eponymous site for this culture, the village of Unetis, is located in the Central Czech Republic, northwest of Prague. Today, the Unetis culture is known from about 1,400 sites in the Czech Republic and Slovakia, 550 sites in Poland, and, in Germany, about 500 sites and loose finds locations. The Unetis culture is also known from northeastern Austria in association with the so-called the Bohymkirchen group, and from western Ukraine. <laughs> Sub-groups The Unetis culture originated in the territories of contemporary Bohemia. Ten local sub-groups can be distinguished in its classical phase. Bohemia group Moravia group Slovakia group, following the so-called Nitra group Lower Austria group Central Germany group Lower Saxony group Lower Lusatia group Silesia group Greater Poland group Galicia Western Ukraine group Topic History of research The Unetis culture was discovered by Czech surgeon and amateur archaeologist Senek Reisner 1845 to 1923 who in 1879 found a cemetery of over 50 inhumations on Holy VRCH the hill overlooking the village of Unetis at about the same time, the first Unetician burial ground was unearthed in southern Moravia in Menon by A. Rezehek. Following these initial discoveries and until the 1930s, many more sites, primarily cemeteries, were identified, including Nemčice nad Hanu sites in vicinity of Prague, Polipi and Sardiki .In Germany, a Unetician barrow in Lübingen had already been excavated by F. Klofleisch in 1877, however, he incorrectly dated the monument to the Hallstatt during the Iron Age. In subsequent years, a main cluster of Unetician sites in central Germany was identified at Balberg, Helmsdorf, Nienstadt, Korner, Lübingen, Halberstadt, Klein-Quenstedt, Wernigerode, Blankenburg, and Quedlinburg. At the same time, Adlerberg and Straubing groups were defined in 1918 by Schumacher. In Poland, the first archaeologist associated with the discovery and identification of the Unetis culture was Hans Seeger Seeger not only discovered several Unetician sites and supervised pioneering excavations in locations such as Szklavitsa, but he also linked Bohemian European Bronze Age EBA materials with similar assemblages in Lower Silesia. In Greater Poland, the first excavations at Royal Unetician Necropolis of Lecky Male were undertaken by Józef Kostrzewski in 1931, but major archaeological discoveries at this site were made only years later in 1953 and 1955. In 1935 Kostrzewski published the first data and findings of the IWNO culture, another Bronze Age culture contemporaneous with the Unetis EBA, from western Poland. In 1960 Wanda (1911–1989) began excavations in Stepankowice near Wrocław, southwest Poland, where a new group of barrows was unearthed. In 1969 she published a new monograph on the Unetis culture in which she catalogued, analyzed, and described assemblages deriving from 373 known EBA Unetician sites in Poland, the first unified chronological system relative chronology based on a typology of ceramics and metal artifacts for the Unetis culture in Bohemia was introduced by Mucha in 1963. This chronological system consisting of six sub-phases was considered valid for the Bohemian groups of the Unetis culture, and later was adapted in Poland and in Germany. Recently, the Unetis culture has been cited as a pan-European cultural phenomenon whose influence covered large areas due to intensive exchange, with Unetis pottery and bronze artifacts found from Ireland to Scandinavia, the Italian peninsula, and the Balkans. As such, it is candidate for a late community connecting a continuum of already scattered northwest Indo-European languages ancestral to Italic, Celtic, and Germanic, and perhaps Balto-Slavic, where words were frequently exchanged and a common lexicon and certain regional isoglosses were shared. Chronology 
The culture corresponds to Bronze A1 and A2 in the chronological schema of Paul Reinach. A1, 2300-1950 BC, triangular daggers, flat axes, stone wrist guards, flint arrowheads. A2, 1950-1700 BC, daggers with metal hilt, flanged axes, halberds, pins with perforated spherical heads, solid bracelets. Topic. Artifacts and characteristics Topic. Metal objects The culture is distinguished by its characteristic metal objects, including ingot torques, flat axes, flat triangular daggers, bracelets with spiral ends, disc and paddle-headed pins, and curl rings, which are distributed over a wide area of Central Europe and beyond. The ingots are found in hoards that can contain over 600 pieces. Axe hoards are common as well. The hoard of Dieskau Saxony contained 293 flanged axes. Thus, axes might have served as ingots as well. After about 2000 BC, this hoarding tradition dies out and is only resumed in the Urnfield period. These hoards have formerly been interpreted as a form of storage by itinerant bronze founders or as riches hidden because of enemy action. This second interpretation is likely as even today weapons are hoarded underground to hide them from the enemy and axes were the primary weapon at that time. Hoards containing mainly jewelry are typical for the Adlerberg group. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Unetis metal industry, though active and innovative, was concerned with producing weapons and ornaments mainly as status symbols for high-ranking individuals rather than for widespread domestic use or for equipping large fighting forces, developments which would wait until later periods in European history. But the Adlerberg Cemetery of Hofheim, Taunus, Germany, contained the burial of a male who had died from an arrow shot, the stone arrow head still being located in his arm. The famous sky disc of Nebra is associated with the central Germany groups of the Unetis culture. Topic. Burials From a technical point of view, Unetisian graves can be divided in two categories flat graves and barrows. The Unetis culture practiced skeletal inhumations, but occasionally cremation was also practiced. A typical Unetisian cemetery was situated near a settlement, usually on a hill or acclivity and in the vicinity of a creek or river. The distance between the cemetery and the adjacent settlement very rarely exceeds 1 km. Miles. Cemeteries were usually spatially organized, with symmetrical rows or alleys. Burials of the Unetis culture are orientated according to stars and the relative position of the Sun on the horizon during the year, which may indicate quite advanced prehistoric astronomical observations. Topic. Flat graves A typical Unetisian flat grave was a rectangular or oval pit 1.0 to 1.9 meters 3 feet 3 in 6 feet 3 in long, 0.6 to 1.2 meters 2 feet 0 in 3 feet 11 in wide and 0.30 to 1.5 meters 1 foot 0 in 4 feet 11 in deep. Depending on the shape of the bottom and depth, graves can be divided into four subtypes, rectangular, concave, trapezoid, or hourglass. One of the most prominent characteristic is the position of the body in the grave pit. The deceased were always buried in a north-south alignment, with the head south and facing east. The body was usually placed in the grave in a slightly contracted position. Exceptions from this rule are sporadic. In the classic phase approximately 1850 to 1750 BC, the Unetisian burial rite displays strong uniformity, regardless of the gender or age of the deceased. Men and women were buried in the same north-south position. The grave goods consisted of ceramic vessels usually one to five, bronze items jewelry and private belongings, rings, hair clips, pins etc., bone artifacts amulets and tools, including needles, occasionally flint tools the burial of archer from Nauwais Wrocławska, for example, was buried with color flint arrowheads. A body deposited within a grave might have been protected with mats made from plant materials or a coffin, but in the majority of cases there was no additional coverage of the corpse. A well-known example of wicker-made coffin inhumation derives from Brushchevo fortified settlement, nearby Poznan in Greater Poland. In approximately 20% of burials, stone settings were found. 
Erection of a full stone setting or just a partial one a few stones in the corners of grave seems to be quite a common practice observed in all phases of the EBA in Central Europe. Wooden coffins were discovered at several sites such as in Lower Silesia. Unetis culture coffin burials can be divided in two types, according their construction, coffins of the stretcher type, and coffins of the canoe type. Coffins were made of single block of wood. The most prominent example of a rich cemetery containing many of such inhumations is in Shklovitsa nearby Wrocław. Coffin burials appear in Central Europe in the Neolithic and are well known from Bell Beaker and Corded Ware cultures in Moravia. <laughs> Barrow's princely graves To date, over 50 Unetician barrows have been found in Central Europe. The majority of the monuments have been published in archaeological literature, but only about 60% of that number have been excavated according to modern standards. Some of the tombs found in the early 19th century, such as the many tombs in Koshin County, Poland, were incorrectly identified and robbed or otherwise destroyed. The largest concentrations of Unetician barrows, also known in archaeological literature as princely graves, can be found in Czech Republic, in the vicinity of Prague, e.g. Brandys, Bresno, Malada Bolslav Sahitiki Chobati, Prague 5 Reporije, Prague 6 Bubanek. In central Germany, in, for example, Lubingen, Helmsdorf, Balberg, Dieskau 2, Summerda I2 and Gro Gastros. In Poland, in Greater Poland, e.g. Leki Male IV, in Silesia, e.g. Stepankovice Ia Ib, Katie Wrocławski. The size of the tombs varies, with the biggest of all being the monument associated with the Koshin group of the Unetis culture, Barrow No. 4 at Leki Male, 50 meters (160 feet) in diameter and 5 to 6 meters (16 to 20 feet) in height today. In the classic phase, a typical princely grave was approximately 25 meters (80 feet) in diameter and 5 meters (20 feet) in height. Topic. Trade The Unetis culture had trade links with the British Wessex culture. Unetis metalsmiths mainly used pure copper, alloys of copper with arsenic, antimony, and tin to produce bronze became common only in the succeeding periods. The cemetery of Singen is an exception, it contains some daggers with a high tin content up to 9%. They may have been produced in Brittany, where a few rich graves have been found from this period. Cornish tin was widely traded as well. A gold lunula of Irish design has been found as far south as Butzbach in Hessen, Germany. Amber was also traded, but small fossil deposits may have been used as well as Baltic amber. Topic: <inaudible> Settlements. The most typical Unetician housing structures are known from the Czech Republic. The houses were constructed of wood, with a gabled roof, rectangular in plan with an entrance on the western side. The roofs were built of straw and other similar plant materials, providing thermal insulation and protection from the rain. Because thatch was lighter, less timber was required in the roof structure to support it. Thatch is also a versatile material when it comes to covering irregular roof structures and is naturally waterproof. The walls were constructed using the wattle and daub technique. The walls, including those inside the buildings, were probably made of a woven lattice of wooden strips. The outside walls were later covered with a composite building material, a mixture of clay, sand, animal dung, and straw. One of the houses discovered in Bresno in the Czech Republic was 24 meters (79 feet) long and approximately 6.5 meters (21 feet) wide. One of the most characteristic features associated with settlements are storage pits of the Unetis type. They were located beneath the houses, and were deep and spacious, with a cylindrical or slightly conical neck, arched walls, and a relatively flat bottom. These pits often served as granaries. The vast majority of settlements consisted of several houses congregated in the communal space of the village or hamlet. Larger fortified villages, with ramparts and wooden fortifications, were discovered as well, in, for example Bruschevo in Greater Poland and Radlowice in Silesia. These larger villages played a role as local political centers, possibly also market places, facilitating the flow of goods and supplies. Topic. Influence of the Unetis tradition 
Today, the Unetis culture is considered to be part of a wider pan-European cultural phenomenon, arising gradually between the second half of the third millennium and the beginning of the second. According to Pokuta, "...the role of the Unetis culture in the formation of Bronze Age Europe cannot be overrated. The rise and the existence of this original, expansive and dynamic population mark one of the most interesting moments in European prehistory." The influence of this culture covered much larger areas mainly due to intensive exchange. Unetis pottery and bronze objects are thus found in Britain, Ireland, Scandinavia, and Italy as well as the Balkans. The strong impact of Unetisian metallurgical centres and pottery-making traditions can be seen in other EBA groups, for example, in the Adlerberg, Straubing, Singen, Necker Reis, and Upper Rhine groups in Germany, as well as the Unterwobeling in Austria. The Nitra group, inhabiting southern Slovakia, not only precedes the Unetis culture chronologically, but is also strongly culturally related to it. In later times, some elements of the Unetisian pottery making traditions can be found in the Triciniac culture as well. References Sources <references> 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 J. M. Coles, A. F. Harding, The Bronze Age in Europe London 1979. G. Weber, Handler, Krieger, Bronzegier Castle 1992. R. Krause, Die Enneolithischen und Frühbronzezeitlichen Grabfunde auf der Norteris von Singen am Hohentweil Stuttgart 1988. B. Cunliffe, ed., The Oxford Illustrated Prehistory of Europe Oxford, Oxford University Press 1994. Topic. External links Nebra Sky Disc Official Website, State Museum of Saxony Anhalt in Halle, Unetician Settlement Area Brno Tarani Photo Gallery, Gold from Lecky Mail Barrows, Poznan Archaeological Museum, Unetician Cemetery Prague East, Greater Poland Koshin Group of the Unetis Culture, Hengelike Sanctuary of the Earliest Unetis Culture.